Professor Dr. John Corbett's research serves as a vehicle to help amplify the voices of marginalized populations. I asked him how he visions maps. I think a lot of people think that maps are really boring. You know, essentially they're there to serve a single purpose. But even if you look at the roadmap itself, like it has a fascinating history. Like one of the first roadmaps made was in the 1650s by a guy called John Ogilby. And it was essentially a, a map covered 308 miles and three furlongs in, uh, in distance. And it went through all these separate towns and villages along the way. And of course, because it's an, a long route, he ended up overcoming the problem of combining scale with actually making the map usable by putting it all on a scroll. Right. So in fact, you had a scroll and you would scroll your way through as you sort of went, you know, in your carriage, you know, that 308 miles and three furlongs from London um, through to Land's End. There's a lot of really rich material in that when he produced that map back in the, in the 1650s. That was a map which historians today use in order to understand things like place names along, along the route. But then, you know, we look at road maps from a contemporary perspective right now. Um, you know, we whip out our cell phones and we say, hey Siri, hey Google, you know, take me to some place. And they give you, you know, an answer back in seconds, you know, take a left turn and 200 meters from both a historical as well as a contemporary perspective, you know, once we move away from the sort of purely practical use of a map to get us from one place to another, in fact, there's a really rich history, but there's also a really important sort of contemporary application as well.